There is a breaking news coming from Germany about Tesla Giga Berlin's final approval coming within days. Automobile Vogue reports that Tesla Giga Berlin's final permit may come in the coming days. That's a quote. Tesla will start mass producing of the Model Y at Giga Berlin in December, says the report, and that it has already made five Model Ys at Giga Berlin. The most important thing here is that Brandenburg's Office of the Environment could also grant Tesla's long-awaited full approval for Giga Berlin in a few days, as the report said, in the coming days, the report stated, Brandenburg's Office of the Environment finished online meetings about Giga Berlin's full approval last week. And I said that there was a demand to start another discussion, but looks like it's not going to happen. About 400 objections from environmental associations were discussed during the meeting. After the process, Brandenburg's economics minister, Jörg Steinbach, stated that he was confident and optimistic that Tesla Giga Berlin would produce its first Model Y, I mean officially mass production by the end of 2021. I said officially because Model Y, Tesla has already built five Model Ys at Giga Berlin test. Uh, Tesla Giga Berlin was sent Model Y production will start based on Germany magazine's report. The factory already completed five Model Y units, but not um, on its production line. A few Model Y vehicles were spotted, if you remember, last week or so at Giga Berlin, uh, with the vehicles making rounds around the facilities, Giga Berlin's test truck, a close look at one Model Y parked at the Giga factory's ground uh, revealed that it was dual motor variant, suggesting that Tesla may be planning on starting its production with dual motor variant of the all-electric uh, crossover from Tesla. So Tesla aims to produce as many as 30,000 vehicles at Giga Berlin by the first half of 2022, as noted in a Bloomberg report. I will have the link in the description of this video, friends. The company expects to start serial production at Giga Factory near Berlin with 1,000 cars per week and gradually increase from there. As of this report, the Model Y long range costs $57,970 before incentives in Germany with an estimated delivery date of February 2022. Meanwhile, the Model Y performance price is €64,970. I should have said euros about the first one. Before incentives with an estimated delivery in early 2022, the top tier Model Y comes with a performance package that includes 21-inch Uber turbine wheels with an estimated range of 480 kilometers performance brakes, a lowered chassis, and light metal pedals, reports Maria Murano from Tesla Radi. She says Tesla Germany's free default color remains to be white. The solid black midnight silver metallic and deep blue metallic paint options cost an additional 1,200 euros, which is $1,358 round, while the red multi-coat paint costs about 2,200 euros. $2,490. Do you care about your Tesla color? I don't much. Tesla Giga Berlin has an advanced paint shop that Elon Musk has talked about in the past. Once local production starts, Tesla Giga Berlin could offer new colors such as the highly anticipated and rumored deep crimson multi-code, abyss blue multi-code, and mercury silver metallic, which were recently seen at Giga Factory Shanghai as my per my Per, uh, previous report. Model Y on Tesla Germany's websites are from Giga Shanghai for now, at least based on the company's online configurator. Tesla will probably update the Tesla Germany's configurator once Giga Berlin begins its operation. So let me know, do you think all the Model Ys at Giga Berlin will be made by 4680 batteries or the current Tesla batteries, I think 2170 or something like that. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Let me know your thought. Do you really think that Tesla will start mass production at Giga Berlin in December, friends. Let me know. This is a good news that my automobile work maybe have some inside information in the government. Um, but like I said earlier, Tesla has to finish some paperwork that it has not finished yet per my per previous report based on RBB, Brandenburg's public radio. So maybe Tesla is expediting those paperworks and uh, 
final approval may indeed come within the coming days that will be a very good news please subscribe to this channel because i will put my finger on the pulse of this development and bring you the latest from Giga Berlin. this is armin harian from tortoise.com share this report in social media i would greatly appreciate it give it thumbs up if you like the report and i'll see you soon in our next report peace be with all of you god bless you everyone love your neighbor and let's move on to our next tesla story there is a big change happening at Tesla. Elon says Tesla will change quarterly delivery strategy. With a recent leaked email from Elon Musk, we see that Tesla is going to be changing up its quarterly delivery strategy. And in about a moment, stay with me, I'm going to read the full email to you. In the past, Tesla would um, rush to get deliveries done at the end of the quarter, if you remember. This is no longer going to be the case and instead, Elon Musk wants Tesla employees to reduce costs of deliveries and take the most efficient action. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. So Elon Musk's email to Tesla employees, uh, there was a recent email. Uh, he sent an email to Tesla employees likely to address the stress that comes at the end of each quarter and rushing to get deliveries done. I think this may also mean that Tesla won't rush to export so many vehicles at the beginning of each quarter and instead even it uh, out each month, says Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla reporting team. Elon wants Tesla employees to take the most efficient action at all times and to not think like Tesla is publicly traded and to forget the notion of end of quarter. And like I said, I'm about to read that email to you. Elon sent an email in quarter three, 2021, according to Sawyer Merritt on Twitter, where he stated that sometime in quarter four or quarter two, 2021, Tesla would start to spread out deliveries more to reduce the end of quarter waves. Elon looked at over six month period where Tesla wouldn't have delivered any extra cars, but would have instead spent a lot of money and burned employees out to accelerate the deliveries in the last two weeks of each quarter. This is a positive move for Tesla, says Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla reporting team. He says, I think this is a good move for Tesla. Imagine if at all the end of each quarter that you felt rushed and pressured to make as many deliveries as possible. Now imagine the stress that would come from this and the corners that may cut in order to make this happen. Imagine the habits and inefficiencies that are created by operating this way. Now imagine that instead of stressing about meeting quarterly deliveries or deadlines, employees of Tesla are instead focused on the customer experience and making a delivery as efficient as possible. I also personally believe this is a smart move by Elon Musk and smart move by Tesla. And I'm about to read the, te um, the text for you. So there is a crunch and stress of the end of quarter deliveries because you are not thinking like a public company anymore, trying to meet quarterly results. This is a positive for Tesla overall. If I had to work at a company, says Jeremy, and had two weeks of extreme stress four times a year, I would take a toll on it would take a toll on my health. I wouldn't work in a calm and uh, relaxed state if that was the case. And I would make mistakes and cut corners. This new approach from Elon Musk helps keep the same culture of being efficient and doing the right thing without making a rush effort out of it. Will this affect quarterly earnings from Tesla? I don't know. Let me know if you think this will affect quarterly earnings of Tesla. And uh, if they are implementing this right now, we could see a little less deliveries in quarter four, 2021. After that, um, I don't think we'll see much of a negative on Tesla quarterly deliveries because the estimates will also change. The reason for this is that the employees will be focusing on low cost and efficient deliveries and will find a way to make the deliveries happen over time instead of coming them 
into two weeks of the last quarter, each of the, of the end of the quarter. So I think this will also improve Tesla's bottom line because there won't be money spent on expedi expediting orders and on temporary con contractors to rush the deliveries at the end of the quarter. Employee morale will improve as well. Since we don't know how much Tesla is spending on expediting expediting and contractors uh we expediting deliveries and contractors we have to gauge what they spent eight weeks out of the year for the expediting and extra contractors jeremy johnson says i'm going to take a stab at it and say tesla will save 50 million dollars a year here is the full text of the email as i promised per my email several weeks ago elon musk says our focus this quarter should be on minimizing cost of deliveries rather than spending heavily on expedite fees, overtime, and temporary contractors just so that cars arrive in quarter four. What has happened historically is that we sprint like crazy at the end of quarter to maximize deliveries, but then deliveries drop massively in the first few weeks of the next quarter. In effect, looked at over um, a six month period we won't have delivered any extra cars but we will have spent a lot of money and burned ourselves out to accelerate deliveries in the last two weeks of each quarter we will still have a quite a big wave of deliveries in the last few weeks of december as we don't yet have high volume production either in europe or texas which means a lot of cars on boats from China to Europe and on truck and or rail from California to the East Coast arriving late in the quarter. But this is nonetheless the right time to start reducing the size of the waves in favor of stellar, steadier and more efficient pace of deliveries. The right principle is take uh, the right principle is take the most efficient action as though we were not publicly traded and the notion of end of quarter didn't exist. Thanks, Elon. So let me know, friends, what do you think about this kind of revolution in your approach? Um, what do you think about Tesla's new strategy for quarterly deliveries? Will Tesla stop exporting so many vehicles at the beginning of each quarter? Let me know your thoughts. I think um, it will be interesting. I like the idea that Tesla wants, actually the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, wants to see Tesla not a uh, publicly traded company, but as a privately owned company where everybody focuses on results, focuses on the quality, focuses on the service, not on just making the numbers right. Because like I said, you know, would you like to work in a company where two, uh, four times a year, two weeks each time, basically eight weeks um, a year, you work under extreme amount of stress. It will be impossible. I mean, employee morale will be low and people will come home very stressed. They will lose their productivity and you don't want that to happen. And I'm glad that someone told Elon Musk or maybe he came up with the idea of lowering the, the stress and allowing people just enjoy their works and the production numbers will probably go up, of course, of this. So I would like to hear your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. God bless you and peace be with all of you.